What's up everyone? Scott the Char Hammer here. Got sort of a different video for you guys. So I'm back at Waverly Lake and I want to show you guys what I consider to be one of the best lures to use for small ponds and lakes for catching bass and bigger panfish. I want you guys to see something. This is something I don't normally do. Where's all my gear? Where's all my tackle? It's because all I brought with me is an ultralight rod and this lure, a Rebel Cricket. So this is a really light topwater lure that also has a lip on it so it can be retrieved like a crankbait. I'm gonna show you how fish go absolutely ballistic for this at night, especially in the summer. Yeah, right in front of me, and there it goes. <laughs> That's the quick release. There we go. Let's see what we got. Bluegill. Later, buddy. There's something. What do we got? Big old bluegill. Yeah, nice size bluegill for the size of lure using. Oh, wow, <laughs> did you guys see that? Oh, it came off too. That was vicious. <laughs> Hit and run. So the way you want to cast this lure is get really close to the bushes, just like that. And let's sit for a second. If you don't get any bites, sort of start twitching it in place. You know, you see those rings? That looks like a bug in distress on the surface. And that's something that fish are already looking for to feed on, especially this time of day. Now twitch it in place for a good while. You don't get a bite. Then what you do is you get your line tight. You don't, like, start reeling the lure right then. But you load up your rod and then start reeling it in slowly, and it works like a mini crankbait. So this lure gives you options on retrieval. You get, the, you get the look of a bug in distress on the surface, and you get the look of a crankbait. Something this time of year, this time of day, especially bass, they're already looking to feed on. You know, those, those little crankbaits, those moving baits, because they are out feeding. Oh, just had a bite. Holy cow! That was a blow up and a half. Yep, that's a bass. <laughs> Woo! Not too, bad. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. For a small lure. Yeah, maybe a pound. You know, bug that big. There we go, guys. Good size one. You know, maybe a pound. Until that fish's fat's been feeding. Back in you go. Another spot to target with a lure like this is the spot right here where I've been casting at. So uh, pretty much right where those rocks end, it drops down about two or three feet. So there is a ledge right there, right where it just cast. And bass are going to be sitting right on the edge of that ledge looking at ambush prey that come up over the ledge. So twitch it in place, see if there's any bait fish hiding there. Crank it over that ledge. 
and then along the rocky part. Try over here. Yep, there's one bite, two bites, three bites, four. <laughs> Must not be anything big enough to actually eat it. One of the amazing things about this lure, the options it gives you to retrieve, the option it gives you to fish with, you can target just about any species of fish with this lure, you know, anything out of a pond or a lake like this. What you target more specifically depends on location and time of day. So right now I'm actually trying to catch more bass. I'm fishing the kind of bassy areas, you know, fishing more shallow spots where there's a lot more oxygen. Uh, the water's cooler because there's a current right underneath me. It's also nighttime where the bass are more actively feeding. Yeah, see, there's something decent size just swiped at it. Yep, see, you guys notice they're striking it more so on the paws. Those twitches let it know, let the fish know this thing is alive, and they're coming up to swipe it during the pauses. Oh, dang it! I think I struck just a half second too early. You know, something you guys can expect on just about any suspending lure is, okay, <laughs> baby bass strike while talking. <laughs> that's, that's novel. It's never happened before. Anyway, one of the things you can expect with uh, suspending baits, uh, top water suspending baits like this one, jerk baits, uh, any sort of uh, buoyant suspending bait is when it's paused that's when the fish think about biting and they'll come up and where it pauses one fish will come up and look at it you twitch it a few times that fish stays another fish will come up and look at it eventually you've got three or four fish looking at it the fish notice that it you know all 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 the fish are looking at it to eat it and then it becomes who can get to it first that's what really draws a strike for suspending baits and baits you can pause baits like this uh, jerk baits uh, top water poppers, anything like that where you get a suspended in place after a little bit of action. One of the reasons why you guys aren't seeing my rod uh, when I'm twitching is because I'm doing everything I can to keep my rod tip close to the water because you can still kind of see where my line is. I want the fish to be attracted to the lure making the activity up on the surface, not my line. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen if you're you know using something that uh, twitches on the surface, you got bluegill sunfish and whatnot coming up to attack where the line enters the water because that's where they see the activity. So you want them to be attracted to your lure, not your line, in that case. That is a big crawdad. Look at that thing. Cow guys, that's that's a big crawdad. Oh, come on! How did that not hook? You know, something to keep in mind with a lure like this is fish are eating bugs anyway off the surface, easy meal for them. But a grasshopper, especially a grasshopper this big, that's a big calorie meal. So fish aren't really going to allow this thing to be passed up. That right there helps. You just watch. See, look at that. So that bug hit the water. That bird swooped down thinking it was a bug and wanted to eat it too. Fish recognize that. Oh, come on. I felt the way he had that. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Alright guys, I think that's all for this video. It's starting to get dark. I want to do some other fishing. Got to run back home and grab my bass gear. Going to do some nighttime fishing here because I've seen some pretty good fish activity on this area in the time I've been shooting this video. So I uh, hope you guys like this video. It's sort of a shorter video, something I don't normally do. And, you know, I'm not sponsored by the Rebel Lure Company. It's just one of my favorite lures. I want to sort of showcase it in the video because this time of year, that lure is absolutely electric.
blow up after blow up. I need to get my top water. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys had any questions or observations, please leave them in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, please subscribe if you're a new viewer because I do a lot of videos like this, also educational videos and also fishing videos, taking you out of the water, teaching you how to target a specific species. Please share this video if you can. Definitely appreciate it. Help the channel grow. And as always, tips up, tight lines, have fun fishing.